becoming irrelevant rather than relevant doing it that way. Um, oh, yeah, absolutely. We really, um, I think like a lot of companies, we stick to our core competencies, which is you know creating the keyword list, doing our research, and developing ad copy. And then things like you know the graphics work on websites and um, you know some of the more menial tasks, then uh, we outsource a lot of that. What, um, because this is obviously going to be a question that the people that watch this will have, is... Well, what does this cost? How how expensive are these guys? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so, um, so we start on um, the basic accounts account um, setup, um, which wouldn't include landing pages, analytics, or anything like that. It's simply us um, doing the research, you know, developing your keyword lists, writing ad creatives. We typically write anywhere from fifty to hundred ad creatives, and then we custom uh, customize those for each keyword. Um, that setup, depending on the amount of products, will range from five hundred dollars and then right up to, I mean, as much as twenty five, thirty five, or forty five hundred dollars. If if you say, you know, if you're if you're Walmart and you want us to um, to promote every store in your, in the country, then we're probably looking at somewhere, you know, five or ten thousand dollars. But okay. uh, I would say for the average advertiser, the average company, um, you're certainly going to be looking at the five hundred to a thousand dollar range, and most of you will fit right in the middle of that. That is extremely affordable. I mean, it really is, absolutely. You can, you can. Let me tell you, folks, take it from experience. You can lose a whole lot more than that by just doing it on your own with Google, and, and in a few days, absolutely, and, and really fast too. <laughs> yeah, there's no question. <laughs> um, when we talk about profitability, okay, obviously mm -hmm. there's some metrics that you and the owner of the business probably come together on to say this is successful, this is working. Um, what would be some of those metrics for me as a small business say, you know what, I couldn't have, I couldn't have had a great quarter if it hadn't been for the folks at uh, at Blam or Big Local. What right. what uh, give us an example of some we know you're you're making more money, but can we get a little bit more specific on that? Yeah, absolutely. So it's um, in, in terms of your return on investment, it's going to it's going to vary based on the industry you're in and that sort of thing. But what's really great again about search marketing is that we get to actually look at the data and give you a, a pretty pretty good estimate about what it's going to be um, in terms of how much you're going to see back on each dollar put out. Um, if somebody was to come to us who has a campaign running currently. Um, one of the first things we do is put it in writing that will guarantee to increase your click-through rate by um, most of my clients. I'm able to increase it in writing by 200 percent. Um, that alone will will bring your quality score up from a four to a seven almost overnight. Wow. Um, yeah, and then from there we can also guarantee that the quality score. Uh, remains above six or seven out of ten. Most of, most of our advertisers see um, eight, nine, and ten out of ten on the majority of their keywords, so that really helps. Um, and then from there, we're also able to guarantee things like um, the conversion rate. We're able to guarantee, but that's you know that's really contingent on us having control over the landing page we put people on. Right. Um, but yeah, we can we can guarantee um, basically guarantee your profits, which is something that most people can offer, especially in no, advertising. You're right. No, especially in advertising. I don't know how many times I, I feel like I've thrown good money after bad, on you know like things like traditional media, uh, radio, for example. Because uh, one of my big, you know, how we really pay our bills at Frugal Brothers is we resell software, security. When we specialize in software, we deeply understand it, and we take a consultative approach. So that's our little plug for Frugal Brothers, and we stick with network security. Storage, messaging software, messaging, I mean, things like fax servers, uh, dealing with spam and viruses for exchange, that sort of thing. Right. All right. All this stuff, all right, has gazillions of keywords out there, and you've got some people with extremely deep pockets. That's right. Okay, okay that are, are advertising. So when you go on the radio, for example, uh, you know, uh, you, they of course talk you into doing to a, a lengthy campaign. That's their business. They sell advertising. <laughs> uh, okay, and there's really no clear metrics. You know, they they throw these Arbitron ratings at you and say you can be on these shows and these are the number of listeners and this is the demographic. Mm -hmm. But that's it. That's as far as it goes. They start. They cut a commercial, 
You like it, you don't like it, whatever. Well, once they start running it, you're done. There's no guarantees. No, there's not, and there's no guarantees on, on just about any aspect. I mean, of course, they can they can give you a rough estimate of who's listening, but you know, as we know, lots of people listen lot to lots of different stations, lots of different shows. So there's right. no real way to tell. And right. with this sort of marketing, you can actually narrow it down right to the the perfect client, if it were. And you actually brought up a really good point, which is that with Frugal Brothers, you you offer consultative selling. That's one thing that again I have to stress is that. Most people out there have abandoned that, um, and they just seem to feel that if you advertise or you're running a business online, then everybody's just numbers. And it's like I say, as soon as you start treating people like cattle, you you start dealing with people, or you stop dealing with people. And that's uh, certainly what's been happening on the majority of, of website businesses these days. And if I can offer any sort of advice to um, online businesses out there, it's to Keep it. Keep into perspective that you, at the other end of all these metrics is, is people, and that you want to offer them the best experience possible, and you really want to be open to them and give them lots of options to get in touch with you and to you know look at the product and you know virtually feel the product and just give the same experience that you would if you were running a brick and mortar shop. That you know that's that's exactly right um, because the stuff that I do, some is, is fairly complex. Unfortunately, Absolutely. unfortunately, there are people out there running e-commerce sites who are deeply discounting the software. Mm -hmm. If I discount the same level they are, I could not afford to pr provide the service that I do. And I have won deals, even though my prices were a little higher, because I was able to answer their questions, even jump online and remote control their computer to show them these particular points of the software. And they're going, you know what, I, I, I can't call the CDWs of the world and, and, and all these guys and get these kind of answers. They don't no. know. <laughs> and that's why we limit, what, we limit what we do to software we understand and that we use ourselves. But, uh, you know, finally, Steve, I, I always like to wrap up our, our, this has been some very insightful information. So first off, I want you to make sure that you let everybody know uh, it, how to get a hold of you guys, what's the best way to do it? Absolutely. So um, feel free to give me a call. Um, nine times out of ten, I answer our telephones. I don't have a receptionist. <laughs> uh, you can reach us at area code 613-424-3867. Uh, you can also visit biglocal.ca, and you can email me directly at steve at biglocal.ca. Okay. Now, um, a couple things. Number one, what we like to do is some, especially something this powerful, we're probably going to take this recording and we're going to make it into a series of YouTube videos and share with that community. We got your blessing to do that? Oh, absolutely. Okay, very good. Finally, because we are a business and technology show, I always have to end with this question. What, because you're an entrepreneur yourself, right? Mm -hmm. And we're facing some of the most extremely challenging times in modern history uh, from, a, from an eco econo uh, economic perspective. Yeah. And lots of people now are finding themselves as wannabe entrepreneurs. What single piece, if you can only give one piece of advice to you, to a fledging entrepreneur, new manager, something like that, what would it be to be successful? What would that golden nugget from you be? Um, yeah, so I mean, I, I really can't uh, offer any better insight than to always look at things from your, your client's perspective. Um, right from the time that you, um, you even start your business or before you start your business, um, the, worst, the worst thing I see is people who um, you know, fall in love with a product and decide that they're going to be the, um, the spokesman for that product and run out and start a company based on it. Unfortunately, we can't all buy our own products to the point that we're going to be successful. What you want to really do is look at your market, look at the people who encompass that market, and, and really determine what it is that you can bring to the table, what you can bring to the conversation. And if you look at it from that perspective, I think you're going to have a hard time failing. Well, fantastic. That's some great piece of advice, folks. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's Mr. Steve Hampton, uh, Big Local, uh, Blam, uh, Search Engine Optimization, uh, and Paid Advertising. Thank you so much for being on the show today, Steve. Well, again, it's really a real pleasure to be on here. Thank you so much, Bruce. All right. You have a, uh, a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye now. Bye-bye.